Hi, Sandy here. Um, I thought I'd revisit how I'm organizing all of my images that I cut from magazines and print from Pinterest and everywhere that I find stuff. Um, my images for my glue books, um, some people do journaling, uh, journal books, um, junk journals, whatever kind of junky book that you like to do. <laughs> um, this is how I store my images. Um, some of them I keep in these binders. Um, this one is called People and Fashion. Um, and I've got a vintage section. And I just take a little speck of glue and stick it on a, pa a page. And I have these these papers. They're, it's used paper. And I've used a three-hole punch and punched holes in it. And I usually cover both sides. Um, so it's free paper, or you can use computer paper. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, and these binders, um, I get from this this one particularly. These I get these at Walmart at school supplies time. Um, it's been a couple of years, but I think they were like 88 cents. So that's very reasonable. And and when they get bulging, you know, the cover is very flexible so that they still close pretty good you know instead of a stiff covered um, I do have one of those that I'm using but if it gets too full then it starts gaping open anyway so I got my people in fashion I'm not gonna flip through all of this um, and I've got some um, good old days magazines I found at a thrift shop and um, I just cut some stuff out and just stashed it in here and I need to go through and, and tidy this up some so I got some loose stuff in here um, and I've made these I this is just masking tape um, I got models here you know not necessarily models but just women oh you know you don't see a lot of good men I do cut those out when I find them but mostly it's women now this this page got folded up but you won't know, once I um, glue it down it'll be fine and I may cut finish cutting it out you sometimes you don't want to do too much fussy cutting or else it gets kind of fragile sometimes I save more for later um, so there's this book so I need to work on this book um, the last couple of days and, and I spend hours and hours and hours organizing my books sometimes I think I enjoy the organizers or organizing as much as I enjoy my scrapbooking and my glue book making um, I enjoy the organizing. Uh, this book is Animals, Dogs, Cats, Birds, and Butterflies. Um, I use calendar pages. Uh, I just recently got these from my father-in-law, who recently passed away. <laughs> uh, and I've got wildlife rodents, um, sea life, farm ranch and if I have like a tractor or a silo I would put that here so if I need farm stuff it's it's there together even though tractors and silos are not and I use some of these some of these sections I will use for both scrapbooking and glue books um, so then I got a zoo section I recently did some zoo zoo uh, scrapbook pages um, and I even use, put my my zoo uh, scraps, paper scraps in here, in the zoo section. So when I do a zoo pictures, I just pull those out and I've got pretty much everything I need. Uh, there's dogs. You don't see all that many cute dogs and cats in magazines and stuff. But, uh, but I collect them when I can. These are our... Um, Sometimes when you go to a rummage sale, you can get greeting cards for like a dime. So when I when I can get them that cheap, ten for a dollar, I will buy a bunch of really cute cards and use them on my glue book pages. So these are images I've collected. I have a large butterfly section, and birds are my favorite. And I I I buy books and stuff, and I just stash these in here. These are some from some recent magazines I bought. Um, some of these I do put in page protectors. Um, I think I already had them in page protectors, so I left them. And a lot of them I leave loose like this, um, so I can just flip through the pages. Um, here we go. This is from a, a bird book that I recently bought. And I just cut out all the pictures, and I need to 
glue them onto the pages because I like to just flip through and be able to see everything at a glance and have it all organized and um, I'm not real happy with these labels I've been making because they're they're kind of hard to see so I, I'm going to show you a, a book I've been working on see this is kind of small and I'm making the bigger labels now anyway so I'm trying to make a few improvements um, and then I've got this one it's flowers, scenery, houses, buildings, landscaping kind of outdoor stuff and I've got sections in that um, I bought a, a, a this is a, a calendar journal calendar and for like each week there was um, Victorian Gardens the English Garden Diary 1990 that's what it was and I tore out some of the pages so that I, I would have room to fill it with with you know glue a lot of stuff in there so there's that and I, I need to get that organized um, I'm getting in the habit of, of taking all of my nearly full pages or half pages the really large stuff and just putting it in a pocket and then I can I can pull that if I want something big I can just pull that out and and look through there and put it back in there so I've got these three books and there's another book I will show you soon that I've been currently work, working on um, so I got like four books that I keep stuff in and then I have this bin this is a <laughs> this is a, a file box from from Walmart it, it's like 588 for the box and I like legal size because I use calendars and stuff um, I can get more in there with legal size or you can turn it the other way and you, it's got the grooves here too so you can have regular size and I have this pocket is all Christmas stuff um, so I'll very soon be doing another um, Christmas glue book I did one my first one last Christmas and it was really fun so I, I, I actually bought a couple of ideals book books at um, the thrift shop and got a lot of good stuff out of there so I have plenty to make another glue book for this year for Christmas and then I've got I've got tons of calendar pages I love calendars. Um, let's see. Okay. So Holly Hobby. I did a whole book on Holly Hobby. And I'm going to show you a little bit of that soon. Um, landscapes. And scenery. I like, I like using that. Um, these are Victorian House. I think this is Sue Walls. Um, I've used both. I think I only have like two of these left from a whole calendar. So I've used those. I love those. And then I had, I bought like ten of these calendars that somebody had collected. Um, they're collages. Um, for like ten years worth. And they sold me the whole stack for, for a dollar. And that's been quite a few years ago. And I just bought them because I love them. And I had a long time before I, I started doing glue books. And then I've got a big stack of um, scrapbook paper, <laughs> as if I got tons of it. And I thought, you know, these are really good for glue book. I, I love doing a lot of vintage pages. So I've got several sheets up there that I, I basically bought for glue book pages. Because um, they're very vintage. Okay, and then I have some sections here. Um, I have a ton of cars, a lot of, a lot of calendar pages, and, um, well, this is just a, a tiny, tiny bit of it, but I've got a lot of car pictures, tons of them. Vintage cars, uh, mostly. Uh, then, um, I have a, a fashion section my daughter likes I've done a couple of books with her she likes the fashion um, food food uh, I need to do that more I mostly go to my books and I'm thinking about trying to get more of this stuff into books um, miscellaneous stuff oh and then I've got this stack of paper 
I recently made some Franken paper. I, I buy this paper that's textured. It's not textured, but it's got a textured sort of a design. And then the back side is plain. Um, I need to trim this. I didn't notice that earlier. But I was going through a lot of my scraps recently. So I made some Franken paper. <laughs> and it, it, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, um, yeah, that's all Franken paper. Oh, and then sometimes when I was going through my scraps, I would do, I did this a while back. I would just glue some scraps and then fill in the space. And it's just, you know, using that stuff up. Um, yeah, there's another one in this. This is, comes from, uh, paper pads. Um, the top part that sometimes you get a little extra and I, I save those strips. I don't waste anything. Uh, and then my daughter and I, we like to make, um, we've only done this twice before. Last time I did like 40 sheets and we go out in the garage and we like to spatter. And this is watercolor. And then, um, after they dry, uh, they're kind of wrinkly and you just put them, you stack them up nicely and then you put a heavy weight on it, on it. I used my, some of my scrapbooks, a couple of my scrapbooks, which were pretty heavy. So then, um, that made them nice and smooth so I didn't have to iron them. Um, let's see. And I've got music sheets. I when I buy crap, when I see crappy old f um, music books, I buy those. Those are good for for background. Um, I've got this catalog that I've had for a long time, and it's Sears and Roebuck 1909. That's that's pretty cool. Um, then I have a bunch of these strips. I cut down most of my paper <laughs> to eight and a half by eleven and ended up with these strips. So when I need some nice scraps for my glue book pages to fill in some space, I, I've got all that handy. Um, and I've got some old maps, and I also have an old atlas. You know, those atlases get outdated. They change the roads and stuff. You need to buy a new one. Nobody uses them anymore. I do. I like. I gotta have my map when, when I, when I travel. Then I got a whole bunch of envelopes. People like to use those on glue books and, and stuff. So that's what's in my box. But I prefer my books. Now I've been working on this book. It's getting all nice and tidy. And I call this my Victorian book. And I recently bought, went to uh, the Goodwill bins. Uh, well, that's the stuff that they don't sell. They have a separate store for that. And they put all this junk in bins. And uh, you go through and pick out whatever you want. And put it in your cart. And then you you check out. You They weigh the cart and you pay by the pound. So I recently just got a stack of... Um, I got a book of Victorian ladies, because I love doing Victorian and vintage stuff. I got a book of Victorian cats. I got um, five romantic home books, um, magazines with de decor. And I've cut those all up already. And I've got most of the, that in this book already. So here's how I do that. And this is something kind of new I've been doing. Oh, and I wanted to show you... Um, this is a Holly Hobby glue book that I've done um, a while back. It's one of my favorites. And, and I bound it myself and added a cover. But see, this is a full page picture of a kitchen, a vintage ki kitchen. And then this is a Holly Hobby that I cut out of a calendar. And she's like making cookie dough or something. And uh, she just looks so great in this kitchen. And I added some postage here, and I added this teddy bear in a high, ch high chair. It's pretty vintage. I used a lot of rooms um, in here. Um, and I love Victorian houses, too. Here's another kitchen. There's Grandma serving cookies. Um, th this I cut out of the calendar. It was, must have been a smaller calendar. And it's in this... I put this chair in this room... I added a tin ceiling tile and this little thing and sweet dreaming. 
Um, but So I do love to use beautiful rooms in my pages. I do that a lot. Now here's a sewing a quilt. I put a bedroom background. Now mostly here I've used like full page rooms, but now this one Here's a beautiful staircase um, that's a smaller size and then a, a pretty living room. Um, like 20, 23 years ago, I used to decorate in Victorian style. Um, I love that this, that style and I still have a lot of stuff, but I've kind of changed over the years. That's kind of gone out of style, but I still love it and I saved all of those magazines and that's where I got all of these images. So I was getting pretty low on them, so I was pretty excited to find the, the rom Romantic Homes um, magazines. So not just Holly Hobby, here's another one of my books. Um, oh, here. So here's a beautiful Victorian staircase and I added these people and stuff. So I really love using beautiful rooms in my books. Okay, so um, I collect Boyd's Bears and I have a few old calendars that are like over 20, not calendars, catalogs that are like over 20 years old. And um, I've just started doing this with this book when I've been redoing re it the last few days. I'm starting the front of each section with a with a page protector, and then I put my full page things in there. And I and I had everything in here, and then I came across this. This was a greeting card that I got for a dime. Um, so I just stashed it in there. I'll get that used. So now I can see my tags better by putting them on these page protectors. Um, so there's my Boyd's Bears and I cut out all of these um, I w on the way to college a few months ago I cut I put the, cut these out and put them in a bag well, I, loosely and then I put them in a bag and and on my husband was driving with two hours each way and I cut out most of these bears on that road trip uh, so that was fun so and I do like to have things fussy cut and ready to go. Not always, but I do like to have them fussy cut. So there's the Boyd's Bears. And then th they also make a line of Yesterday's Child, which is children, um, like Victorian children. So I have those. Um, and then I found a catalog of, of vintage dolls. And um, some people find vintage dolls creepy. And that's what I'm working on right now. I've got it started. I have some more to glue in. Um, now the back side of my pocket will show the back of what the page I've decided not to use. So, so I've got this that I will use, but I'm not going to use that. So whatever you see in the back of the page protector may have nothing to do with anyway, anything. So then I'm, I'm gluing stuff on these pages. Now I do like to keep... Um, if I'm looking for something a certain size, I like to have uh, all that size together. You know, I like to start with smaller and work my way up to the bigger things. But the way things work out, like I glued this on, but then you can't glue anything bigger on there, big on there about that size. So I, I fill it in with the smaller things. So it doesn't quite work out the way I wanted. Um, the, these were not in that catalog, but I think they go good with the dolls. Um, I have more I got to work on. I use my three hole punch and I just punch the paper. Uh, and then I had these, I've had these for years. Um, my ballerina dancing stuff. This is from when my daughter was little. I would save all this stuff. So I've got that. These are dancing and ballerina. And then, then I have this angel section. Um, I've got all my angel stickers and things I've cut out of magazines. Year, I've had these for years. And I'm hoping by putting them right here I'll see them more often. So there's my angel section. And then um, I recently bought that Victorian um, book of Victorian ladies. And um, I've got the larger pictures in here. And then um, these are Victorian people. There's some comics in there and stuff. Um, Victorian people from um, the Good Old Days magazine. Uh, and then um, I bought a book called The Coat of Many Colors. And it had these lovely prints in here. These nice pictures, so I cut those out, and I've used a couple of them. Then I bought a book about a castle. I'm not even sure where it is, but it had a lot of pictures like this, and, and pictures of the rooms. Um, 
so and these are not Victorian these men but they're very vintage and then I've got um, Tim Holtz people now these are, are very catchy you know there's a lot of small edges and, and they're very catchy <laughs> they would easily catch on to other things on the facing page so these I only used one side of the page so they're not brushing up against something and then some of my um, pages the, the holes tore through so last night I used my scotch tape and um, taped them over and then used my hole punch and punched them through and I don't recommend that. I'm not going to do that anymore because when I turn the page it kind of drags. That scotch tape kind of drags on there. So then I started using the masking tape and I think that works works better. So I've got my Tim Holtz people. Then like I said I like to do the smaller stuff and work my way up to the bigger stuff. So these are all of my Victorian people. Um, and I've been collecting this stuff for a long time. And there's another page I taped with the scotch tape. It's a little hard to turn. I, I taped several. There's another one. And the, and um, I'm gonna look for some uh, hole protectors. I forget what you call them. Anyway, so I got all my Victorian people all organized, and I can just flip through and choose something. Yeah, that scotch tape is not working well. So I've covered both sides with my Victorian people. I love these old, these are out of the magazine, the um, Good Old Days magazine. And I just love old photographs. There's a nice family. Uh, th this was from the Victorian Ladies magazine. Uh, this one was... And I've got some old postcards. Oh, this one has the masking tape on it. It doesn't seem to be working much better either. <laughs> so, Victorian people are my favorite subject. Then this is not a people, but it's a statue, and, and I consider it people. And then I've got these ladies' heads. They're not really Victorian, but that's where they landed in here, and and I got to use that up. Now I did find at my at the Goodwill bins, I found a nice thick uh, paperback catalog. It's like eight and a half by eleven size, that is full of these photos of these these ladies' heads. If you saw my last video, you saw that book, um, but. I'm not going to cut that up. It's just too pretty. I'm going to leave that book alone here. These are from the Victorian Ladies book that I recently bought. Um, these I printed off Pinterest. People ask me all the time, where do you get your images? And then this is my final page. And these are um, mostly, not this or this, these are mostly um, graphic 45. They're on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And actually... Um, they had one an issue for each month and they had several different things for each month and um, these are off each month and, and this was also part of those pages okay then I've got table tablescapes like this I put the larger ones in the front here see like this that's a pretty on page and then um, those romantic homes magazines some of them had like a flea market section and they had tons of things like like this that's not actually even from that book um, and I had already started this book like like the others and I just filled in the empty spaces and added some more pages um, let's see if I can find something um, I love flea markets I don't go to very many of them um, but this is from the Romantic Homes magazine that's so pretty um, this was this was from the flea market pages um, so I have this section of, of tablescapes and and um, like this one is very very much flea market and and sometimes they overlap a little bit but you get the idea of what you got there so um, so I got this section and then I had this one the salvage district that was off the cover of a of a 
scrapbooking pad with uh, the that I, it had the pa a lot of the papers that I just showed you. Um, so there's my flea market tablescapes section, and I, I love this kind of stuff. And here's here's a blank side of a page, and I can add more stuff. Okay, and then I have a, a household items furniture. Um, Good old days magazine, like every issue they put in like a page from a catalog. This says from 1925. Um, and there's hats or look like feathers or something to decorate hats. And there's lamps and furniture and watches. Just some cool stuff. So I put that in the full page. Oh, and then, then in one of my... I, mean, I found these in a magazine. These are our rugs. They're pretty, pretty cool. I really like that, that one. I really like that one. Um, so this is the furniture and lamps and things like that. Household items, furniture, a lot of antiques mostly. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, furniture. This is furniture ads from an old Victorian magazine. And then I found these vases in an art magazine that I bought. I bought an art magazine, and it's got some creepy looking stuff. <laughs> uh, not my style. Uh, and I got this out of the, one of my recent magazines. This is pretty cool. I just like that stacked up like that. That looks pretty cool. So just stuff for my pages. Here's an old phone. Okay, and then I got um, kitchen stuff, tea, dishes. Uh, there's parts of my tea bag box, some recipes from the Holly Hobby calendars. Um, food with with antique dishes. Um, tea stuff. Here's some silverware. So this is kitchen. My kitchen section. Here's this is nice. A uh, uh, mannequin with a, a vintage apron on. And then here's my room section. Um, kitchens. Um, I put all the big pictures in there. And I, and I like this. This is not necessarily... I don't think this is even a kitchen, but I put it in with the kitchen. It says bakery. That's a pretty cool picture. So, I need to get busy making some glue books. <laughs> Probably my Christmas one will be next. I don't know. I've got a couple of go ongoing. I used to do one complete book. Just stick with it and get through it. But now I'm working on um, a, a randomness book and a Victorian book and um, I started another book that I'm not too happy with because the pages are not the stuff is not staying glued down I've only, I've only got a few pages started in that one anyway so here's some more kitchens um, and I like a vint their vintage kitchens here's an um, ad out of the Victorian magazine that I had from like 20 years ago um, this is a it's got a, a website on it, so it's not really from a Victorian magazine. You know, it's not really Vic an old ad, but it's it's old. <laughs> it's, it's very vintage style, and I like that. Um, so kitchen stuff. I love these old stoves. And then dining rooms. Lots of dining rooms. So th these are all from that. Not all. Not all. <laughs> Maybe half. From that mag, those five magazines, home, the, these rooms. Um, but I got a pretty good stash of them now. Okay, parlor and living room. A lot of these, um, like this is from the Victorian magazine. This is from the Victorian magazine. But these are more flea market vintage. These are from the romantic homes. So they're not truly Victorian, but I do like the rooms anyway. Um, this is so pretty. These these are pretty much all from the um, romantic homes. There there is a little bit of a difference, but but I do. They're pretty rooms. And that magazine, I'm though they're five. First off, I tore off, tore out every page and had a big stack of pages from the five magazines. Then I picked up one page at a time and looked at both sides and chose what I liked. And there was very little, very little that I did not keep. Um, it, it had some awesome stuff in there. So this is the living rooms. 
Then I have a little bit of bathrooms. I have this, this bathtub. I had it with my furniture and I just moved it to the bathroom section and I, and I just stashed it in here because this section was already done. There's not really a place where it fit to glue it down. Um, so that's, that's all I have for bathrooms. And then bedrooms. Lots of beautiful beds and beautiful bed bedding. I hope I'm not too far over there. Um, just now this is not a bedroom that's the back side of a bedroom so um, bedrooms pretty bedrooms this is very colorful not quite Victorian but it's, it's gonna look cute on a page and I love rosy stuff this is beautiful um, these are pretty much the same but I don't use them this is very pretty so then we got the bedrooms so anyway, the, I'm finding that using a page protector for the big photos at the beginning of a section gives me a good place to put a large tag and then it's going to be easier for me. So there's, um, oh these are, are from the magazines that I just bought and they're, they're nice on both sides and I don't know what side I want to use. So I just put those in a pocket and I wrote, choose a side. <laughs> so um, these are nice. And then my final section is castle because I bought that, that book about castles and it's got some beautiful things. They're not Victorian but <laughs> pre-Victorian um, but they're beautiful things in here. So that's kind of a different category, but that's okay. I love grand staircases. It's not it's not Victorian, but I will still use it on my Victorian pages. So this is book is coming along. Oh, I think I forgot to put these back in the pocket. Choose a side. Oh, I didn't get them all back in there. That's that's what it is. Okay. So I've been using this system for a while and it, it's kind of working for me until I get a lot of extra stuff stashed in there and I, I don't like it when I can't see everything like those stacks of birds in my bird section in the other book. But I'm working on it and I'm going to get it nice and tidy. So here's my doll section. That's what I'm working on right now. So I'm going to put this book over here out of the way. And I'm going to start gluing these on to the pages. And um, mostly I just, I use these glue sticks. And uh, mostly I just kind of go like this. That's all the glue you need. Uh, sometimes things fall off. They stay pretty good though most of the time. Um, but I'm going to mix some sizes here because... I don't want to have too much open space. Now some of these, they, somebody had written these in and I think this might be the price that she got for them. Estimate five to six hundred dollars for one of these dolls. They got four hundred and twenty-five. Estimate five hundred to six hundred dollars. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's amazing. And, and um, one of my followers, she's uh, got her own channel. Uh, she's got a lot more followers than me, subscribers. Um, Jean, um, she does junk journals. Um, I was watching one of her videos the other day. I don't know how old it was, but she was completely out of out of glue sticks, and I wanted to tell her and anybody, I buy these. I for years I would go to the to the um, school supplies sale at school supplies time at Walmart and get these like two for a quarter, 
waste. Uh, they're two pack for two for a quarter, and then there's all that paper and waste. But that's not a problem. But I used to stock up. I'd get like a hundred of glue sticks to last me the year. Um, but then I ran out, and it was still a few months till school supply time. So I went online to Walmart and um, found these boxes. And um, the school supplies is usually the the purple ink. And um, so I ordered a box, and and then it said uh, if you order thirty five dollars, um, it's free shipping. It's free shipping right to your door. So hey. <laughs> I think I ordered three boxes. I think these are like fifteen, sixteen dollars a box, but it comes down to like a quarter a glue a glue stick. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it's a pretty good deal, and I don't run out of glue sticks. So, um, and I and I rotate them. I make sure I use the new the older ones first, and and I um keep this I found this pretty tin at an antique store when I was in Snohomish Washington so I keep this full of glue sticks that's usually pretty easy to open I got that full of glue sticks and then um you can't see it but I have this at the end, end of my desk the fr across the front of my desk I have a a thing I built it's out of wood it's like that deep um it's about three and a half feet long about yeah about that and it's um I put some dividers in there with a little bottom so I, um, I've got it all divided into markers glue pens um, flares sharpies um, tools like this and then I have a small section where I keep loaded with my glue sticks uh, and that's what I reach for and then I got my scissors and my um, glue dots and and writing pens and and just everything's all organized and and I've been using that for over ten years and it, it I really like it so Jean don't run out of glue sticks no more <laughs> um, and I know she's like me I know she's gluing every day and um, almost every day and these are not going to get old you, you don't want to order too many I'm not talking to you Jane we won't waste these <laughs> but don't order too many so they go dry but um, I use at least two boxes of these a year so they don't get old at my house so anyway so I've got this page ready and we'll keep on gluing I know some people find these dolls creepy <laughs> and some dolls are kind of creepy but I like these dolls most of them I think there might have been a couple that I did not choose to keep because they were kind of creepy looking so I'll just be able to flip through and see everything I have So yeah, I think I really do enjoy organizing my stuff. And I tend to spend a lot of time doing it. Now I said I um just do this, but I did kind of smear this a little bit sideways because it's it's larger, it needs a little bit more glue. Okay. And this goes pretty quickly. I sort everything by size. See, this is used paper. So I sort everything by size and that makes it a lot quicker to get things glued down and I've gone through and I've chosen I like this little boy better than I like this lady I don't care for her dark outfit I, it's not my style so whenever you pull out a page you gotta look at both sides and figure out which side you like better and some of these I may fussy cut now this I love. This is neat. This, she's got a vintage stove there. And I can, you can slide it underneath the one next to it a little bit to have enough room. Oh, this came off. 
it's not a perfect system. Once it dries, it's going to be pretty good. Sometimes the static electricity will, will make it cling to your desktop when you pull it off. And then when I finish with my doll here, I do have these two that I've collected for decades. My dogs came in the room and they're talking to me. Uh, so I may leave these just like this or I may move, move them, some of them onto these loose pages. And then um, since I have my Boyd Bears in that book, I've got my um, these teddy bears. And I'm probably going to put those in with the Boyd's Bears. Uh, another I think the dogs went out, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. When they want out, they want out. <laughs> they sound like a whole pack of dogs, but there's only two of them. One of them's a, like a beagle mix. She's supposed to be a coon hound. And she's a barker. She's a howler. She's, she's good at howling and barking. So some of these are in black and white and some are in color and, and you can use black and white pictures on your glue book pages. So I think when I finish um, gluing on these dolls I'm going to wrap up this video and um, so you get the idea. I'm <laughs> I like organizing my stuff. So maybe we'll revisit this <laughs> after I get everything organized. I've kind of always been like this. I like to organize stuff. Well, that's, that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching, and um, maybe I'll inspire you to do some organizing. <laughs> this has taken me hours and hours and days and days, but it keeps me out of trouble. My husband is, is at work tonight. He works um, second, well, he works overnight shifts from six to six, so... I'm not alone. My brother's here with lives with me, but <laughs> um, so I have plenty of time to play. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.